According to a new study, vaping may be worse than smoking for your nose and throat. Dr. Salim Sarani joins us live this morning to discuss. Good morning, Dr. Sarani. So good to see you. Thank you so much for being with us. So why is a vaping worse than smoking for your nose and throat? Good morning, Barbie. Glad to be here. You know, it has been long. Uh, we know that the smoking is very uh, dangerous for health. It can cause cancer. And vaping came in as a kind of a rescue therapy, try to get the people who are hooked up to the smoking, try to get them out of the addiction and the harmful side effects. But, you know, one of the key thing is in the vaping, they still has a lot of nicotine, which is the most addictogenic substance. But people thought like it would not have any carcinogens, but the studies after studies shows that there is a lot of chemicals in there. They have a higher carbon monoxide level. And also those chemicals can also cause cancers. But again, you know, people said that the incidence of lung cancer with vaping is less. But now what the new study is saying, which makes sense, and they look at the people who vape or they are using hookah in the hookah bar versus smoking. When they exhale, the amount of the heated toxic uh, air which is coming out, it's coming out from the more through the nose in the people who vape and using the hookah. Uh, for example, people who vape, 90% uh, of the, uh, the exhaling uh, gases are coming out of the nose. Uh, versus 12 or 20 percent in the smokers. And when it goes through that path of your nose and sinus, it increases the risk of the cancers uh, in the nose and the sinuses, which is again uh, much worse than what we saw in the smoking patient. Are there any advantages at all of vaping compared to smoking traditional cigarettes? I know that there's a lot of people that feel that it's safer. You know, that is a kind of a myth, you know, again, uh, smoking is really, really bad and it has a lot of carcinogen. Vaping has less carcinogen, but it does not cure your addiction because it has a nicotine, which is the most addictogenic substance. Plus, vaping is not really that well regulated and there are a lot of the flavoring agent, the chemicals, and we don't even know the side effects of a lot of those things. What is this going to do in the future in 20 or 30 years? But we know that there are still a lot of carcinogens and carbon monoxide, which has a significant health challenges. It's very, very popular among the kids. You know, the kids that start using when they're in the middle school and high school, and almost 18 to 19 percent of the children in the uh, school age, uh, they're vaping, and which is a very concerning factor. And that is very concerning, especially to parents. I know that just hearing that you saying that concerns me and my child's not even close to being in middle school. Thank you so much, Dr. Sarani, for being with us this morning. We appreciate you. If you have a question for Dr. Sarani, please send it. All you have to do is text it to the number on your screen, 361-855-6397.